Welcome back to the channel, or welcome to the channel if you are not subscribed. Um, a little bit about this piece of furniture, Thomasville buffet that I picked up for 40 bucks. Um, I ended up selling this one for 400 in less than 24 hours after posting on Facebook Marketplace. Um, commenting, subscribing, and sharing really helps. And check out the links in the description if you want to support the channel. And uh, yeah, let's check this out. All right, so I start this one by just taking off the hardware. Uh, I use two different drills here. I usually use the one with the Phillips head or the flat head. Uh, the Dewalt one, the yellow one, has the flat head. And sometimes the nuts and bolts in the back of the hardware give me a little bit of trouble. And I do have to use the Phillips, so sometimes I just start with that. And after we're done with the hardware, we get out the orbital sander. And uh, as you can see, that's not very uh, sturdy on those paint cans. Uh, <laughs> I'm using 150 grit sandpaper for the kind of the first coat, if you will. Sometimes I switch over to 320, uh, but it's mostly 150. And now that I'm done sanding, I'm going to go ahead and use a tack cloth to get all of the dust and debris off of the piece. Now it's time to tape everything off to reduce the amount of overspray when I spray it with my paint gun.
and right here I just get some Dawn soap and some water and quickly clean off the rest of the piece. So now it's time to start priming and painting. I use a bare primer and paint. Obviously this is mostly just for the primer part. I use black because I'm going to be spraying this matte black in milk paint as you'll see. And there were some more stains, some uh, cup and water stains, as you can see on there. Uh, so I decided to put some heavier stuff on there, which is the Kills oil-based spray. This usually cuts down deep into the wood and just gives it a cleaner finish. And then on to the second coat of primer. And I'll be using pure gold by rust to paint the hardware. Now on to the top coat, I'll be using matte brushed finish. It's the uh, Eclipse Black. And uh, I like milk paint a lot more than chalk paint. It's just a lot easier to work with when I start doing the brush strokes uh, for the final coat. So the first coat covered really well, especially with a black primer. So what I'm doing right now is just sanding the first coat. Uh, if you get streaks in there, don't worry about it. They'll cover up on the next coat. This helps it smooth out and um, feel a lot better instead of having all those bumps on there. And I went ahead and grabbed my tack cloth and just got any dust that was on there from the sanding. Now it is time for the final coat, which I will be hand brushing on the piece.
right now it's time to put on the hardware and we can really see it coming together it looks really cool with the matte black and gold hardware So now it's time for the protective coat, and I went with the polyurethane, and obviously I can't find the camera there. Uh, the crystal clear matte, and it looks really cool by keeping the matte paint finish. And I forgot to take a video of it staged in my house, but here are a few pictures, the front, the left, and the right, and some pretty good lighting. Uh, again, I sold this for $400 in less than 24 hours on Facebook Marketplace, and thanks for watching.